welcome back to Quiet Power. Quiet Power, all that's right here. And today we're going to talk about the Centola and some exercises to go. Now the Centola is a homemade version. Normally just made out of wood, a couple of handles put horizontally through the middle, also known as the Indian barbell. It is used in the neck hour, though quite infrequently when compared to the gather and the jory and all the other exercises. It tends to be sat in the corner by itself, looking sad and gathering dust. So it's still used, but not very frequently. Not as a main exercise anyway. It generally is used more as a warm up, and kind of a dynamic flexibility exercise, which is what it is good at. Now, because the wood itself isn't really that heavy, this is, I don't know how heavy, but it's not massively heavy. You're not going to get much resistance training out compared with like a normal spin lock style dumbbell or dumbbell barbells with plates, but definitely has a part in the play in the training theory of the Akhara. It's a very good exercise just for opening the chest and great for youngsters as well. People just beginning with any kind of training, this is a great tool to get used to working with resistance. Now, points with the exercises, there's, there's a few that I've seen but most of the ones that you know in the, the gym, barbell curls, you know, seeing this, that's a popular one. Another popular one, tricep extensions. Just give it behind, just going up like this. And this just worked out like that. You know, not very exciting, but that's what it's sometimes used for. There are other exercises, however. Two come to mind, but we'll start off with one which is again quite popular in the gym, but done slightly differently. It's a kind of clean and press. So the weight's put down on the floor, you're going to lean over bending at the hips. But what you're not going to do, you're not going to bend the legs. There's no leg bend because the weight's quite light. This is used for strengthening through. So you grab the weight, stand up, pull here, press overhead, come down, come down. Try and keep the legs locked. Coming up, pressing through. Pretty standard exercise, but that's one that I've seen. And you'll see that Indian guys especially tend not to try and bend the legs when they're doing any kind of clean and pressing, which is quite strange, but they do have fairly flexible lower backs. They don't have tight hips like we do in the West. They sit around cross-legged lots of the time and doing dance constantly. They've got a lot of flexibility in the lumbar, which allows them to lean over, coming down, they don't have tight hamstrings. Always points to me that they can do this exercise safely. I don't recommend doing it. If you've got a bad back, or you've got really tight hamstrings, like I have. There's more pain than it's worth. Now, the other exercises you can perform, both start either from this position, down here, or coming around the side. So you start here for one, and you're gonna come up, straight up, overhead. I'm gonna watch the roof, because it's low here. You're gonna turn the arms and come down. Come up, turn the arms, come down, at the shoulders. See my shoulders rotating, down, down, do it from another angle so you can see what's going on. Again, most of the focus isn't on bending the knees, there will be slight knee bend, but try not to. So you take the weight, both overhand grip and swing it back behind you. Come up directly overhead with the bar, straight like this. Then you're going to turn the arms, rotating the shoulders, come down. Reverse the direction, come up, once it's overhead, rotate the shoulders, come down. Up, rotate, down. Up, rotate, down. Now, again, breathing, mouth shut. Same point, turn up towards the roof of the mouth, lips pursed. This can be quite exhausting if you do it for high reps. It's quite a full body exercise. And when I was doing it, it reminded me of the cowbell swing to a degree, or of this other rotation here. You can feel your chest opening, you can feel your shoulders moving. It's just great for mobility, great drill. Now the second one is very similar. You take the Suntola, and you can start from the bottom like I did. Well, the guys that have seen it, they'll take it and take one arm up, loops over the head and comes through. So you'll see, you bring one arm up, keep this elbow, the lower one, in tight, 
Bring this arm up. See it pass around. Bring the elbow in tight. Come down. Reverse direction. Elbow in. Up and over. Elbow comes in tight. Down. Switch. From another angle. Now grab the weight. Bring the arm up over to clear first. Up and over, elbow in, comes around, eyes on the weight. As it travels around you, keep your eyes on it. Swing through. You can come through deeper. What you may find is you may hit the ground. So you have to be aware of that. You don't want to start digging holes in the ground. And this is a great exercise. It opens the chest, opens the shoulders, wrists are working as well. Full body, it's a nice serpentine pattern coming through. Very therapeutic, very meditative again. Again, focus your breathing, focus on the exercise. And let the exercise flow. Flow is very important in wrestling. And I think that's where most, the application of this exercise tool comes from, is being able to flow. And this is a perfect exercise to supplement your jory gather work because it feels quite different. Works similar muscles, but tends to be a different exercise in and of itself. If you're going to use this one, I recommend probably doing it straight after you've done your jory or gather practice. Maybe like a couple of sets of 20 repetitions left and right, or work it for time. Five minutes of doing this continuously, definitely get a sweat. Use it as a warm up at the beginning of your workout. Use it as a cool down at the end. Very versatile tool, great movement. Feels really nice. I hope that this has been a helpful lecture for you. And I hope to see you again soon. And get power. Be with you.